my name is Prue or Prue Larue and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a full face of Australis products. This is an Australian brand. Uh, they had 50% off recently and they just released this new foundation and concealer which I'm excited to try but there's no information if it's for like oily or for dry people so it's going to be curious. I get quite oily so we'll see how it goes. I was looking in my outfits and I was like I need something a bit like Australian like surely I've got something that's Australian and it was between my like North Queensland Cowboys merch I like shirts <laughs> um or I saw this one and it just kind of made me go yeah Donate Life so Donate Life is the organization that runs in Queensland um to help people get transplants and look I don't know it's probably a bit weird for you but it's never too never too late never too early to ask your loved ones what they would like to do in the event that maybe something terrible happens to them. But let's get on to the makeup because it's so much more <laughs> easier to talk about. And I'm excited to try these products. I realized I didn't actually, we don't have an eyeshadow primer and we don't have a brow product. So I'm gonna start off with the primer, the original, which prevents foundation fading, smooths and refines, moisturizing, and is silicone free. Uh, Australis is cruelty free and vegan brand, I believe. They're definitely cruelty free. I'm not always the best at explaining products to people so I will just have all of these linked down below if you're interested in going to have a look at the website and having more information but I did make sure to have a read about the foundation and that's I don't know there's not much about it like being oily like it's got vitamin C SPS 15 and full coverage it seems uh, there was one review from someone who was oily saying it was great and there was a review from someone who was dry who said it was really great. So I'm pretty confused. So this primer has um, a bit of a scent to it. It just it just smells like makeup, I'm going to say. Going into the foundation. So it's called the Fresh and Flawless Australis. This is about 20 bucks, uh, which is pretty good. So we've got one of those little squeezy caps. Oh, we are very runny. Interesting. All right, let's see how I went. So I just chose a random color from online. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that looks good. All right, we smell, we smell like the L'Oreal Infallible, like just very heavy makeup scent. So I'm just gonna dab it around my face. And then go in with my foundation brush. And I'm just gonna buff. So this is going to be a look that I'm going to wear to work tonight and uh, if you haven't guessed already or if you didn't know, I am a nurse but uh, that that means I'm working at a hospital and I know I've seen hospital vlogs, I find them very confusing. The, I just, I don't think it's appropriate but I will not touch this makeup once we're done here. I'll show you all the steps. And for the eight, nine hours, I ain't going to touch it. I'll come back and tell you all about it. Because that's easy to do. I pretty much, when I'm at work, I just forget about the makeup. <laughs> and it's only when I get in the lift or I'm in the bathroom and look in the mirror that I go, oh, yeah. The makeup. So it actually is sitting really nicely. It's not super full coverage. I feel like you could build it up to it. Uh, but it's blending in really nicely. And it's not... I do actually like it when... All my discoloration isn't, I don't know, like when you can still see a bit of skin because it's it's probably going to fade off. Like, let's just be honest. Uh, so when you go from being real full coverage to not, it's much more noticeable. But this is a pretty good match for me. So did I mention this was honeydew? Um, yeah. All right. Yeah, it's blending in really nicely and I actually like this look. All right. Time for concealer. So I've got the Fresh and Flawless Concealer in Fair. I just like to do a little dab there, a little bit around my nose because this always just, it's like, it doesn't take long for that to be ruined. So they say on the website this can be used for highlight and contour, which I mean any concealer can be used for that. So let's blend this out and see how far it goes. All right. I mean that traveled pretty far with just like one dot. Feels like it's set pretty well. Sorry if I'm not looking at you much. And then I always like to go in with my foundation brush that I've just used and sort of dab the concealer edges away. 
Because you want people to think this is actually how you wake up. <laughs> um, then I've got... I do actually have the banana powder. This is about it. So I know I've actually sent this to Annette a long time ago. And she was like, god damn. That's yellow. It's a bit yellow. But let's chuck it on. I think it'll be fun. I feel very strange if I don't set my foundation with powder. I just get oily. It's, it's not worth the risk to me. Um, I need a little cushion on. Alright, let's see how yellow I'm about to make myself. But so far I really like the sit of this. So I'm just going to put this underneath my eyes to help conceal that concealer. And then just bringing it up and around and yellowing my whole face. Well, let me know if it is yellow. I've used it before and I didn't really think on, on me it came up super yellow. But... You know, sometimes we're not the best judge. Oh, I see it. It's fine. <coughs> oh, that was not good. Oh. Oh. It doesn't taste good. Alright. Well, that's it. I'm going to chuck on... So I picked up the Curl Boss Lipstick in Iconic. And, like, I really love the packaging of these. It's quite nice. Nice, creamy, light. This wouldn't last very long, but hmm, I might take it to work with me. Now, I actually don't have an Australis product for my brows. I'm going to go in my ColourPop brow pencil in Bangin' Brunette. And I'm sorry, like in this video, is, oh, I'm the worst sometimes. I completely forgot to tell you what products we might be using in this video. I don't know. Uh, if you've watched my haul, you'll see most of the products, except the banana powder, because I've had that for a while. That we are using today. And the Australis Mesmerize palette, maybe. I haven't decided. Um, but otherwise, everything else was in my haul that I try and use today. Um, so I'm so sorry I didn't do like a good Hello, this is what we're gonna use today intro. I don't know, it seemed like a lot of things to have to go through. So let's clean off this powder. Hopefully not inhale anymore. All right, and I can sort of see that part. See here, it's like where I haven't got any banana powder. Damn it. I don't want to have to put more on. And wipe the silver pen. I'm just going to sort of wipe and buff. So I do have the Australis Obsession doodad. But I'm really excited to use this little bronzer. I don't know. So I've got the sweet, like, chocolate bronzer. I don't know. Yeah. It smells a bit strange. I don't know. You've got to go smell it yourself if you can before you buy this because I don't know what I think of that scent. So I'm just going to go in and this is in ganache gold and just bringing it down below underneath my like cheekbones. A gentle, gentle bronze experience. I don't mind the mirror on the Australis one on this thing, but I don't know. I actually want to even use it. Um, I just like to give this brush a little clean and then I'm going to go in with strawberries and cream. Is it strawberries and dreams? Oh my god. <sighs> this is a very confusing name. It's the Australia Strawberries and Dreams Scented Blush in Peaches and Cream. A strawberry scented matte blush to brighten your cheeks and deliver a healthy glow. I'm kind of into the packaging. I don't mind the colour. Ooh, like a nice peachy, peachy moment. All right. Uh, so when I go to work, I always like to have like a heavier blush than bronzer moment. I don't, I don't always put bronzer on either because it's just like a bit, I don't know, me and bronzer, like we're not, we're not the best of friends. So I like to do sort of a heavier blush to distract from anything I did wrong with the bronzer and then bring the blush over the bronzer. Excellent. And then going in, I'm going to do a little bit of highlighter. So I'm going to use this one from the Obsession Face and Eye Palette. And we go into the shade. I'm just going to put a little bit of highlighter on. Also, something I don't usually do before I go to work. So there's a heap of kick out, and we, I don't know, this brush isn't getting along. Um, let's go in with this one. Oh, wrong product. Highlight. All right, so we're just very glittery. Yeah, I don't like it. 
Like I'm getting more glitter than I'm getting color. Yeah. Well, that's all that done. For eyes. I'm going to go in. Well, so I've got the mesmerized part. I actually haven't touched this since I bought it. Yeah, it still has the seal on it. But looking at it again, I realized how a bit boring it looks. I'm sorry. I know. And I'm like, I'm doing a full face of Astralis and complaining about Astralis books. Um, it's just like very lightly shimmery. And to be honest, for my eyeshadow primer test, I've been doing a lot of pink looks. And that's, that's what this palette is. So I think that's more my problem. Ooh, all right. I just watched like this shade here and look. All right. I'm feeling it. Great. So I thought it would be fun to use the concealer as my found like our eyeshadow primer today because I forgot to buy it. I forgot to even Google it. And now I want it. But I feel like I can't justify any more eyeshadow primer purchases. Like there's just like so, only so many you need. So using my concealer brush, I'm just going to buff this out on my eye. So it takes a little while to set. All right, cool. I'm glad I put this on my eyes so I got a bit more of an idea of the point. But it spreads pretty well. Blends really nicely and doesn't dry down super quick. I guess I should bring you in at this stage. And I was tempted. Good, I could have bought the eyeshadow primer instead of this weird part. Um, I was tempted to maybe use some of these shades, but I think I'm just gonna do the mesmerized palette. If you're interested in this, like, let me know. But I, I, mm, I have some like more interesting things to play with. I think every shade in here is a shimmer. It's, they're all shimmers. Um, so, but I'm going to try this. So I'm going to put the bronzer in my crease. Because that's, I don't know, that's what normal, I see a lot of people talk about doing that. I've never done it. But I really, like, I've just been wearing so many pink. I'm excited to go a bit brown. And then this might give you, like, a better idea of what it looks like. Instead of my. I'm actually super into it. So, so a lot of the time on this channel, I do do a lot of colorful looks, but you know, I do like neutrals too. I'm going to go into this shimmer thing in the corner here. There are like three glitters in here. I'm just going to mention that there is like a glitter shade. So if you do have this eyeshadow palette, I just be aware. Like it's not, I don't know. I don't really know how I feel about glitter to be honest, because I do like it. And I'm just going to put that gray shade sort of like on the outside. Just for a little bit of extra dimension. Alright, and then straight into shimmer. What colour do I want to wear? I don't even know. Oh yeah, actually, I'm going to go for this like peachy shade here. I don't know, it's just, it's drawing me in. So I'm excited to see how this foundation looks at the end. So far, I really like it. Ooh. It's nice to see like, um, it's just nice to see neutrals on my, like a different color on my eyes. <laughs> it's just been a lot of pink. It's been so much pink. So I'm going to go back in with the bronzer and just sort of smush it under, go, like put it underneath my eye. Now let's go in with this shade here and just put this on the inner corner. All right. And very excitingly, I have the Astralis makeup Finishing spritz mat. Let's shake it up and spray my face. All right, so I'm sprayed down and then we go in with a mascara. So I picked up the Australis Fake It Mascara and the Australis Skinny Mini Mascara. Um, I've actually used the Skinny Mini for a couple of days, but it's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with it. The Fake It, I got the mini of it and it's black volumizing. Yeah, and it's got the hourglass shaped wand, which like is not my favorite kind of wand. This is just where the hourglass ones sort of fail me is because my eyes are tiny and I don't like getting near them. When they're this shape, I can't get in there. But one of my most exciting find from this whole purchase has been the skinny mini. So I keep wanting to open it the wrong way, but this is like the tiniest tiniest baby little mascara wand you've ever seen but it grabs really nicely and then you actually get like a really nice coat all right 
So here is like our final look. Look at the mascara. Here is an up close of the foundation. Bronzer all wet. I'm not mad at it. It all looks pretty good. It feels pretty nice. I was going to pull out the Fresh and Flawless powder. I think we'll be fine like this. I'll be curious to see how it all lasts throughout the day. So let's bring it back out. All right. So, so far, I, you know, for me, my stand-up product is this Skinny Mini Mascara. I really like it. The blush is a super cute shade. Um, The Australis Mesmerize, like, why are you all shimmers? And three glitters. The highlighter in this, all glitter. Yuck. But maybe these, maybe this one's a bit good. I don't know. And yeah, I'll come back and let you know at the end of the day what I think of our primer foundation concealer look. But for me, this is quite mattifying. So I'm pretty happy right now. Um, I'll see if I can change the light for you. You know, sick. I'll be right back. All right, so I've just opened my window. It doesn't come directly down on me like the daylight. You can definitely see a bit of a difference. And if I turn off my ring light... This is what it sort of looks like. In as close to daylight as I can kind of match. Oh, actually, that's some pretty good lighting. Oh. It's just that, like, this side is shadowed. But here is what it all looks like in daylight. Unfortunately, when we come back, it will be nighttime. So I can't tell you what's going to happen. Um, because I work in a hospital, I can't do no check-ins at work. Um, cause, like... Pretty sure it's against the rules to film yourself at work. I don't know. People will just think that you're, like, filming the patients, and it's not fair. All right, so I'm going to come back and summarize what I think of the foundation. Uh, it's, like, 12 right now. So I will see you back, like, 10 p.m. Hello. Hello, I'm back. Hi. How are you? Let's have a look. No touch-ups. Bring you a little bit out initially from the distance and then up close all right so we got some shine in the face but i don't know it pretty well stayed on the blush bronze is still there i mean the eyeshadow went to crap but did i expect that a little bit yeah um but i actually am really into the way this foundation sits and feels I'm very surprised. Um, if you want to stare a bit. But it's still there and it still looks quite nice. Actually quite a beautiful finish. I don't like from far away. This looks really good. Oh, I forgot to talk about mascara. Mascara is still there. No flaking, nothing fun, exciting to report. I just think I'm never going to be into the hourglass one type. And then I thought... <laughs> Let's play around a little bit with these colours. So we'll finish up and see how we go. So I'm going to go in with this one as like more of a contour maybe. Alright, that's a nice shade. A lot of kick up though. Like so much. Just like a bit messy already. Going into this blush shade. And that's just, that's a really nice peachy shade. And then blending it down. I mean, it's okay. I don't mind. Let's put some of these eyeshadows on. Let's bring you in. I'm just going to go to the top, but I'm going to go in with this purple shade because I'm probably most curious about it. Oh yeah, it's just like a nice shimmer shade. A uh, satiny formula. On the inner corner, let's check this one on. Just see how that goes. Pretty, nah, that's sort of like the crappy look I just quickly did. I don't mind this, this is probably a good beginner. A pretty good present, I think, for like someone who's getting into the game with drugstore makeup. Actually pretty good. For my complexion, I think this is very much a, like a light, a fair, a fair person's look. The Mesmerized palette, bit of a disappointment. When you look at it from there, it looks pretty good. Uh, and then, like, it looks pretty good then, but then when you pull it out and realise a lot of it's shimmers, like, for example, let's just go down this row. They are... 
Oh, actually, am I completely wrong? I mean, they look like shimmers in the pen. Okay, but they're matte. All right. I'm a bit more excited now. I think I probably am keen to maybe do a couple of looks with this palette just to see what I come up with. Um, and it'd be like a cute little romantic palette. Um, and summarize my thoughts on this. Not too bad. Foundation, I kind of love it. I'm, I don't know. Yeah. Concealer, yeah. Really good. Didn't work too well as an eyeshadow primer, but the, the test, the primer, uh, with that foundation, it's just like the perfect match. I think maybe the spritz had like something to do with it, but I'm not too sure. The lip is a very creamy formula, so it only lasts a couple of hours, which is exactly what you expect. But it's nice packaging to sort of carry around. I mean, if you can handle having the girl boss meme with you your entire time, it's good. But a nice little magnet. I don't know, it's like it feels pretty reasonable quality for being drugstore. Uh, the bronzer, yeah. Not too bad. I'm not too into the scent, but it's good. And the blush. Kind of really like it. So, for first impressions of colour, like, makeup. Oh, the Fresh and Flawless powder. We didn't, this is the only powder I haven't touched. So let's, oh, so it's got a little mirror in there and the sponge thing. I never really like these sponge things. So I'm going to pack it away and then I'm going to get a nice brush just swirl it around and then let's just put it down and see palette control shine and sometimes going in with a color like this can really help just sort of blend everything together so it's not as crazy if you went a bit too mental um yeah i think i'd be keen to use the powder a little bit more see what i think but for like a quick touch up right now i'm pretty into it all right so, I'm sorry if you're American and you can't buy any Australia stuff. Because this is pretty good. You guys can buy a lot of stuff I can't buy. Um, if you're Australian, let me know if you're trying these products and what your thoughts are on them. And if there's any further testing you'd like to see me do with any of these products in particular. I think I probably will spend a little bit more time with that foundation. But today, top notch. Top notch. Very into it. Alright, thank you so much for stopping by. I absolutely appreciate it and adore you. If you're new here, I'd love it if you would consider subscribing or checking out some of my other videos and seeing what you like um and just thank you thank you for being you Mwah.